It sounded more like a motorbike. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Welcome everybody, it's Film Review Time! Like I said, I was gonna try to divide these shows, so then it's not just one show doing everything that's lasting for like 20 million hours. You guys just get sick of me. The hell get sick of me? <laughs> Ow. Anyways, guess what film I saw? That's a stealth mission. We'll be in and out before they even know we were there. We're talking about breaking into a police station. This is crazy. This is a hundred million dollars. You say what? I'm down. One's a former federal officer who spent five years in deep cover. The other one's a professional criminal. Escaped prison twice. We find them, we take them as a team, and we bring them back. And above all else, we don't ever, ever let them get into cars. I'm gonna be doing a film review over the Fast Five, the fifth Fast and the Furious movie. Fast and the Furious, the Cinco. Basically, the story starts off uh, at the end of the last one where um, Vin Diesel's character, Dom Toretto, is um, headed to prison in a bus. In a bus. Just looking sad and angry as always with that crease in his, between his, with that crease between his eyes. And just, uh, I can't wait to work out. The battery has to take a shit. And then, of course, you know, his sister and Paul Walker's character decide to break him out. That's off. I mean, like I said, it starts off just like that, and it kind of, it's really quick. I, I didn't like the fact that it was so quick. I mean, I'm not going to ruin it for you how they do it, but it just, you're just, like, thinking, that was it? Okay. thought with, like, all the other stuff, they might have tried something a little more technical. I digress. I think they mainly concentrated more on the, the whole story. Basically, like a heist movie. Like, Ocean's Eleven meets Fast and the Furious. That was the greatest comparison of all. I think I think a lot of people who are like really into the whole cars and the racing things might be a little disappointed because there's not a whole lot of racing that goes on in the movie. It's it's mainly just they're gonna pull this heist in Rio and steal about hundred million dollars. They bring a character back from the first movie as well as they bring like Tyrese's character back from the second movie, and then they bring the Asian guy from the third movie. I mean, it's all just crazy crap. What's funny too is you know the third movie Tokyo Drift kind of stands out from all the rest because, you know, Paul Walker wasn't in it, Vin Diesel had a cameo in it. I think what's funny is, is these these last two Fast and the Furious are actually prequels to Tokyo Drift. And then of course they brought in Dwayne. Do you smell of a... You know, I'm not gonna do that. He's not even The Rock anymore. Even though he's built like one! Dwayne Johnson's in it playing the, uh, who the FBI goes to when they can't get somebody. Basically just muscle on muscle! Bald head on bald head! Paul Walker is very girly in this movie. Compared to the other guys, holy shit, he should have bulked up. Of course, there's a hand on hand, freaking crazy Godzilla versus Godzilla. No holds bar, just, just punching the crap out of each other, throwing each other through walls. My colon felt clogged after I watched this. So, yeah, the entertainment factor is definitely there. You won't be bored. Plenty of action for everybody to just, you know, engulf themselves in it. Story wise, pretty good. I mean, it's, it's a heist movie, so, you know, it's got, it's got some twists. Like I said, for the die hard, like, car fans, might not like it as much. But overall, it's a good action flick. It's got a pretty suspenseful ending when they pull the vault out, and it's, I mean, so many cars get fucked up. I mean, the budget of this movie was like 125 million. It went to destroying cars. So, yeah, the ending sequence is very exciting. A lot, it goes on for a long time, and and um, it's non-stop. It's basically just non-stop. So I liked it. I did. If you want to see it, go see it. I think you'll, I think you'll walk out just being pretty satisfied for, you know, what you paid for. Got big buff guys. You got hot chicks. We're getting a booster. <laughs> There's eye candy for both, so go see it. I recommend it if you want some entertainment and blah, blah, blah. Especially if you're a diehard Fast and the Furious fan. Be sure to wait until after the credits. There's like a little secret scene. Actually, another character from one of the previous movies that shows up. And then there's like a whole big shocking... Oh my god! Like surprise, surprise ending. Which pretty much leaves it open for a sixth one. Yay, I guess. Anyways, that's my film review. Hope you liked it. Uh, click the link. I'm probably going to put a link somewhere. Somewhere on the screen, just in case you missed my last show. Leave a comment down below if you saw the movie and you have, if you want to have like a little debate on something, huh? Bring it, bring it. Okay, I got a little crazy right there. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. And I'll see you guys. And I'll see you guys in a couple days when I do the actual show. Huh?
I'm already tired.